and one o'clock here in the East, topping our show right now. Republicans asking more questions today about who exactly is working inside the nation's top law enforcement office. A defiant Department of Justice refusing to name names when it comes to which of its attorneys used to represent terror suspects. The DOJ represents the people of this country, so don't the people have a right to answers. That's where we begin this hour. Welcome to America Live. I'm Megan Kelly. Certain Republican lawmakers are upset that Attorney General Eric Holder is refusing to identify which lawyers at justice are hot off the heels of representing terror suspects. New York Congressman Pete King is one of those Republicans. He's the ranking member of the House Homeland Security Committee, and he's my guest now. Congressman, thanks for being here. What is it that Eric Holder uh, has not done that you want him to do? Megan, I think it's absolutely essential he disclosed the names of anyone in the, in the Justice Department who represented in any way Guantanamo detainees. You, know, you and I are lawyers. Obviously, a lawyer has the right to take on an unpopular client or an unpopular cause. But we are involved here in a war for survival, a struggle, really, for the survival of our civilization. And I believe the American people are entitled to know what role these lawyers now have as far as framing Justice Department policy, if they're going to be appearing in court, uh, representing the government on various motions or applications. I think we as Americans have the right to know that so we can better gauge you know, the quality, of, the, uh, you know, the quality of, of their argument, what was the basis of their decision. I don't see what Eric Holder is trying to hide. He's refused. Senator Chuck Grassley sent him a letter demanding to know uh, the yeah. names of the people who formerly represented terror suspects down at Gitmo. And he wanted some more information, and he basically got the back of the hand and sent back an angry letter saying, this is really unacceptable. Uh, it, it, the Department of Justice is supposed to be representing the people of the United States. Do we, Absolutely. the people, have the right to that information, Congressman, or is it up to Eric Holder to decide what gets disclosed? Megan, as far as I'm concerned, we, uh, we have the absolute right to know. I mean, there's, uh, you know, we're not talking about any confidential secret here. And I think especially in these cases where Eric Holder is under the gun, as far as him making the decision to hold a civilian trial of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed uh, in Manhattan, uh, the fact that he wants to uh, carry out criminal investigations of CIA interrogators. For instance, I think it's important that we know uh, if anyone who was involved in Guantanamo, representing a uh, Guantanamo detainee, is also involved in the investigation of the uh, CIA. CIA interrogators. I mean, uh, to me, uh, Eric Holder owes it to the American people, an absolute moral obligation to the American people, and also just to me in, in his own interest. I mean, if I were in Eric Holder's position, I would want everyone to know that I'm doing everything honestly, that there are no conflicts of interest, and I would let them, you know, let the American people decide whether or not they believe that the attorneys are in any way compromised by their prior uh, representation. So, now this to me is an arrogance on uh, Eric Holder's part, just like it was arrogant for him to put the KSM trial in Lower Manhattan without even speaking to anyone in the New York City Police Department or the New York City Administration but or anybody at all involved in security. What do, what do you say to those who say this, is, this looks like a political stunt? Because lawyers, <laughs> as you point out, you and I are both lawyers, we've both mm -hmm. represented clients in whom we don't necessarily right. believe. I mean, that's what you do as a lawyer. You get paid to go into court and right. make an argument. Abraham Lincoln famously talked about how Right. He could argue on behalf of one guy in the morning and then his polar right. opposite in the afternoon. That's what lawyers get paid to do. Just because these people worked at Gitmo for Gitmo terror suspects doesn't right. mean they're true believers. So how do you uh, respond right. to those who say this is a political stunt? No, I, I don't object to the fact that they represented Guantanamo detainees, even though you do wonder why people decide to put their time in to certain causes. Now, I'm saying now that they are on the other side and we are talking about such vital issues of life and death, I think the American people are entitled to know who represented Gu uh, Guantanamo detainees then and now. Uh, and to me, this removes any type of doubt and it also would let us decide whether or not this colors their opinion, whether or not they are still influenced by, uh, by the reputation of uh, Guantanamo detainees. Certainly, for instance, if they're going after a CIA interrogator and it turns out they had also represented someone who was a Guantanamo detainee, that would raise questions of judgment. And I think the American people are entitled to make that decision. Eric Holder may decide that the person is still qualified, fine. But that should be out on the table so there's no secrets, there's no conspiracy theories, there's nothing at all. And to me, that's not politics. That's honest, open government, the type of government that Barack Obama said he was going to bring to the United States. Uh, well, uh, one wonders whether that list will be forthcoming from the Department of Justice. So far, uh, not so much. Congressman Pete King, thanks so much for being here. Megan, thank you.